Winston had got a couple of those uh, model airplanes that you wind up, and uh, it was sometimes hard to open uh, the packaging on that. And uh, Bill was going to join them, but Bill thought it was a kayaking day, and it's just, you know, communication's a big part of Bill's stupidity. So, uh, but he is good at, he has a more aggressive approach to opening a package. And, uh, oh, 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 oh. Never work with a guy wearing a helmet, that's the rule there. And, so uh, Winston hands him all the parts, and, uh, and he's going to take a look at the instructions, try to get it right and everything. And uh, Bill has the ADD kicking in, so he's uh, he's just kind of doing what he has to do. And it, funny how, you know, he's, it's a, kind of an idiot idiot with uh, Bill. There he's, you, yeah, it's fine, all right. So uh, Winston hands him the second plant, same approach, uh, basically. And Bill is so talented that he can actually put the plane together without all the parts, which I find... Now he's looking at Winston, and that's, a, that's too much work winding up that elastic. So he's thinking, wait a second, is there some way that I can uh, do a bit of a shortcut here? And he gets an idea. All right, why doesn't he just take Winston's work and kind of borrow it for a minute? <laughs> then he hands it back to Winston. He can keep winding Winston. Meanwhile, Bill's plane is ready to go, so he fires it off there. And I think with those planes, they set the tail on a bit of an angle, so it'll do a big, a big circle around. And uh, Bill probably should have thought that. Oh. <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, Winston, in his pain, jumped up and down on Bill's airplane. So, so now, and Winston had let uh, his plane go, and it was going in a circle the other way. And uh, uh -oh. you know, you, you want to, and then you know what the heck with it. And uh, oh, and it kind of jammed right in there. <laughs> My golly! Whoa! That's two minutes for slashing right there. So now they got no planes, so Bill's got an idea. He's got the kayak and he's got the paddles, and he's thinking, wait a second. Maybe we can take this up a notch. And they had they had found a small tricycle they're using as the landing gear. And now they just need elastic. Oh, there's your elastic, yeah, kind of like a wetsuit. Very there, it's a kind of a rubber deal, and he so he ties that onto the prop, and then uh, Bill hooks her onto the back. Oh boy. Alright. Uh, I don't know about this. Uh, so Bill gets in, and I'm thinking, you know, you still don't have any wings, do you? No, you, there's no wings, Bill. There's no wings, Bill. No wings. Wing. Oh, no, you're good. You're good. Okay, all right. So Winston's wine really putting the tension on there and getting her down, and then he's getting, okay, gonna let her go, but he had wound it the wrong way. Which was unfortunate. Well, you know how some people can't leave well enough alone? Well, if that's the case here, they found some new way of watching the Red Green Show. The expression flogging a dead horse also comes to mind. Anyway, there's some link somewhere. They're gonna put it on the screen probably right over my face if I know these guys. And you follow that and all the instructions and everything there. But apparently they, have, they schedule and they watch shows or they put a bunch of handyman corners together or they, who knows what they're gonna do. But it's interactive, which means you actually get to interact which of course i was never interested in doing but uh, we got somebody who is uh, check it out uh, if you don't enjoy it don't call me